Hey everyone, I'm OT Squirrel, and today I'm super happy because Liverpool had a big win. But not only that, we have the final 12 packs of my Evolve Guys booster box to open. So obviously this is the final part of three parts, so if you guys haven't watched the first two, I recommend you check them out because you're about to be spoiled the two biggest pulls we have so far. And here we go, we'll take the final packs out here, and then you guys can see we are definitely ready for a uh, one more big hit, hopefully, from this part. Uh, from a booster box, I usually, you, you tend to kind of see like five or so of these, and then you get like maybe a couple full arts and then a secret rare. So we have a full art, secret rare, full art. We got two V's though. In this part, I think it should be quite exciting. I think we should expect a couple V's and a full art. Yeah, but because of this amazing pool, if we get, you know, one V or, or just a couple hollows, I don't even mind. This has just been so much fun. And let's start off with a Sylveon pack. It's going to be a little bit bittersweet because uh, obviously once this is done I have no more Evolving Skies to open. I do have uh, some packs coming, some blisters, so definitely not done with Evolving Skies yet. This set is every bit as amazing as I was hoping it was going to be when I saw the set and um, Eevee Heroes and, and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, Water Energy, Ursa Ring, Crustle, Rescue Carrier, Hippopotas. So, uh, I'm just going to quickly go over the cards we've already seen uh, in the first couple parts. And then we go cross -off. I'm pretty sure that regular cross we got was the first cross I've seen. Now we have a reverse as well. And the first rare of this part is a Milotic, which I think I might already have. So really hoping for a Salamence Hollow and a Leafeon V. A Trevenant V would be good too, obviously. So my two big pulls from this box so far I can't even use. That's new, Moon and Sun Badge. That helps out SP on an Umbreon, so maybe that's foreshadowing for us packing one of those two. Another Eevee. This is the exact same pack as the last one for the commons there. Now it's a bit different. Reverse Scraggy, that's cool. I think we already have a Reverse Scruffy. And Smeagol. Huh, I don't even know who's in this set. These paints are trailing a bit there. <laughs> I haven't seen Smeagol since Call of Legends, I don't think. That's the only other set I can remember him being in. Alright, so two packs down, a couple of regular rares. It's been quite a while since we've gotten a uh, V, because obviously we didn't get a V, uh, just a regular V in the uh, last part, and uh, we haven't gotten one here so far. Shopping center, when I turn. Oh, I think my uh, commons and non-commons pile is getting a bit tall here. I might have to make a new pile after this pack. Scraggy. Reverse Ampharos. Cool, alright, that is new. I was thinking that's a duplicate, but I was thinking of in the Mighty Box yesterday, we got a Reverse Ampharos from a different set. And oh my goodness me! What is this booster box? That's a Dragonite V alternate art. So the, the regular V alternate arts aren't secret rares, so I thought it might be possible. These are about 1 in 82 packs. I think those are about 1 in 240 packs. This has to be one of the, the best Evolving Skies. This is literally the only booster box I've seen of Evolving Skies opened. So, I mean, I don't have anything to compare it to. But this has to be one of the best. That was just about the last thing I saw coming. Look at that. And it's definitely PC because we got some, some birds in the background there. We got Fiero and Spearos. Oh, what a card. And obviously the Dragonite's incredible in it too. <laughs> wow. Funko just uh, announced that the, the pre-orders for um, some new Pokemon pop figures and Dragonite's one of them. I might have to get a Dragonite pop figure to display this with. What is this booster box, guys? This is quite possibly the best um, V alternate art. And then I got like my favourite VMAX alternate art. This is just insane. Not to diminish the uh, requ requires a V, that's a very cool one too. And I haven't actually seen the Evolution ones, but I'm sure they're all amazing too. And there we go. That is definitely not a bad way to say welcome back to the Dragon type in the TCG. Let's look at this card here. 230 HP, Dragon Gale, 250. This attack does 20 damage to each of your benched Pokemon. Okay. And it shreds just 50. Uh, pretty basic. Well, I was looking for a card to pull that would go uh, in the third slot there, and I think this one's going to be tough to uh, replace. And there we go. 
No one on this planet has the right to, to complain about that, <laughs> being the main pulls from a booster box. And we still have about nine packs to go. This is insanity. Well, I was saying it's been a while since we packed a regular V. I don't know if that counts as a regular V, but, uh... <laughs> oh my goodness. I actually didn't know that the the alternate art Vs weren't secret rares until this morning. So my brother opened his box and he got the Rayquaza. And I was shocked that it wasn't a secret rare. So that just had me thinking, like... If it's not a secret rare, that means it probably is actually possible to pack a VMAX um, alternate art and a V alternate art. And I guess we just kind of proved that, haven't we, in the best way possible. <laughs> oh, I might uh, accidentally put the packs off camera, guys, because I'm just staring at that background, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I, I didn't even sleeve up my Ampharos reverse. Uh, I guess I'll do that after this pack. Oh, I was going to I was gonna make a new common pile after that pack. I just completely forgot. Oh, I, I just don't even know what to say. Tenuous Reverse, that's awesome. Gorgeous, regular rare. I mean, what can I say except wow? <laughs> that's one of those pack pools that makes you triple and quadruple check that you're definitely recording. <laughs> this has hands down been the most fun I've had opening a booster box since possibly the first one I ever opened, which was a Call of Legends I got for like my 12th birthday or something. And oh, I got the, uh, the uh, shiny Legend Ho-Oh from that box. And I cherish that card. I just have no idea what that is now. It's so sad. So today's question of the day. What card do you remember packing and just being amazed by and so happy with when you were a kid? And you just have absolutely no idea where it is now. My answer to that is quite comfortably the Shiny Legends uh, Ho-Oh -Oh from Call of Legends. This pack has a very rough top edge on all the cards. So hopefully there's nothing massive in this. Dino. Still haven't got a uh, High Dragon. A toy catcher reverse and uh, oh, hollow entei. Has that got the? Oh no, that, that edge looks fine actually. The corner's really real rough though. I'm obviously not going to get a uh, entei graded or anything, so um, cool. All right, requires a pack. Ah, uh, I just can't get over this. This box. I love that Trevenant V Max, but that is being incredibly overshadowed right now. <laughs> oh, hip her down. I think it's first Golduck. Oh, I'm taking about six cards there. Heard you. It was just the two, actually. Nikit, Bergmite, Kavana. First in Morgra in a while. There's that amazing Slack Off, so we got one in all three parts. <laughs> Reverse Tentacruel. Nice. It's only an uncommon. And. Suicune V. Ooh, that's really nice. So if my calculations based off absolutely nothing are correct, in these final packs we should have one to two more ultra rares, but that's, as I just said, based off absolutely nothing, uh, except for past booster boxes I've opened uh, from unrelated sets. And just to clarify, me saying that there might be one or two more the ultra rares in there is not me asking for it. I couldn't care less if those were all size matured regular rares. Alright. Ursa Ring. Crustle. Oh. Rescue Carrier. Tentacool. First picture of the part. C dot. Lillipup. Bagon. Pincer Reverse. That is a reverse rare. And a Kyrum. Nice. Hollow, Kiram. I didn't even know he was in the set, completely forgot. Well, that sleeve's much nicer. I just ran out of Eevee sleeves, so I'm going to temporary, temporarily put them in my VMAX Blastoise sleeves, and that is so much nicer. That's a really good sleeve. I didn't think, I definitely, I think I do prefer the Leafy on VMAX, but I didn't think I was going to get another card in this box that would even come close to competing with it, outside of the uh, Slack Off, of course. If we get a reverse Slack Off, guys, I'm just done. I mean, what could possibly top this box if we get a reverse Slack Off on top of those two alternate arts? Bagon. Love Disc. Reverse Braviary. That is an uncommon. And... No way! Lycanroc VMAX, full art. Full art number four. 
What? That was incredibly unexpected. <laughs> Once again, though, we've gotten a V Max, our third V Max that we can't actually use because I don't have the V off it. <laughs> I guess they just want me to open another box or something to be able to make these cards all playable. All right, just move the uh, packs aside there so we have room for all of our full arts. I mean, I, I just don't see how this box can be topped, guys. This is insane. Oh, these cards are really rough. Look at that edge. That's an uh, insane amount of whitening for a, an ultra, ultra modern set. Um, shopping center, lantern. Dino, I feel like I've gotten Dino in like the last four packs. Hitmonchan, Fletchling, Reverse Avalog, that is an uncommon, and a Flapple Regular Rare. Oh, so there are two packs, so there's actually three. Oh, everything is going my way today. Uh, except for my cat meowing in the back, and hopefully you guys can't hear that too well, but you definitely can. She, she's a, not exactly a quiet uh, cat. <laughs> Alright, Grass Energy, Gordy, Braviary, Nuzleaf, Eevee, oh, my comments pile is just half fallen over, oh, this is a disaster, off the camera here, Afflin, Lillipup, Reverse Lilligant, and that is another Reverse Rare, we're getting quite a few of those, and we have a Hollow Jumpluff, very nice little Hollow there, and then there were two, what's going on with this pack, oh, that might have a little bit of damage, I'll open that one now then. That is really concerning. What the heck is that? That's come straight from my booster box, obviously. And this thing looks like it's been... I don't even know. <laughs> On much more of a, a journey than it, it actually has, that's for sure. This looks like the kind of packy bar on eBay and someone just sends in like an envelope or something. Cards look okay, though. If this is somehow another full art, it should be okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, I've got to sleeve up my lily again. All right, lantern, terrifying spirit mask, Scraggy, Bagon, Wubat, time pool, Sai Sai Sai, reverse Shalgon, very cool, and a Victini Hollow. Man, we've got like a whole bunch of hollows in a row here. This is crazy. That's really cool. How many Pokemon are in this set? That's so crazy. I feel like every pack I'm packing something crazy that I completely forgot was in the set. And unfortunately, it has to come to an end eventually. The final pack on the best booster box I have ever opened in my life. Oh, I can't believe this is the first one I've ever opened on YouTube. I must have been doing it wrong this whole time, guys. It's just like, it's like I've been saving all of my Pokemon luck for the last two years for this one video. <laughs> or for this one uh, box, I mean. Over three videos. These cards are a little rough once again. It's crazy. It's like... A few, quite a few of the packs in this booster box have been quite rough in terms of uh, the edges and the corners, but it seems like most of my the, the big boy pools have actually been pretty good, and that's the main thing. Reverse Crystal Cave, and our final card here is a regular Air Sharpedo, but that's actually a pretty nice one. I don't even know how to, to end this video, guys. I, I feel like I just have to like send a written letter thanking Nintendo or something. That that's That's literally all I can say. Good, goodbye.